is general reading. This may or may not resonate. Okay, if it doesn't, check out your other placements. If you need a personal reading, all that information is going to be below. Okay. That's a very weird outcome for communication. But anyways. <clears throat> all right, Saj. Let's have a little bit of an overview. It's the thoughts in reverse on your mind. You are suppressing your suppressing communication. You're not wanting to reveal the truth. You're holding back on purpose, okay? You're thinking more emotionally, all right? You're not giving this a very logical approach. This person, on the other hand, this person has some hope, faith, wishing and praying that things should be okay. But with the start here, they're also letting it go, letting it flow, okay? That's a lot of patience also. And that's they feel that if something's fated, something's divine and destined, it's going to happen, all right? So this is literally like not stressing about it, letting go of the outcome. You, on the other hand, here in your feelings, you feel this person is literally abusing. Uh, <clears throat> uh, you've put this person on a pedestal, okay, for sure. And you probably feel that this person is giving you the bare minimum. There's a lack of equal give and take. And uh, you just feel like you're doing all the work here. Whilst this person is just chilling and not doing anything, okay? This person, you feel this person is definitely taking advantage of you and they're just not doing their part, is what I'd say, okay? It's a very one-sided situation for you. That's what you feel. Eight of Cups in reverse, this person can't walk away from you. They, they, <coughs> they can, they've tried, but they can't, okay? They want to come back to you. They want to return to you. With the lovers in reverse here, your needs are not being met. Okay, that's your approach here towards this person. You're feeling very, very disconnected. All right. But um, definitely you feel like your needs are not being met. You feel you guys are just not on the same page, of course. with uh, um, This could be a broken marriage. This could be a separation. But this is definitely almost like a long-term relationship that you're not happy in anymore. Okay, you feel your needs, your wants, your desires, they're just not met here. <coughs> I think this person, according to you, this person lacks empathy, okay? They lack that deeper understanding to what your needs are. And with the world here, this person out here, this person probably feels that, uh, I mean, they're ready to close off a cycle, okay, with the world here. But uh, something's come to an end here, okay? This is endings. <coughs> but also new beginnings. All right, let's clarify. Tell me about the Ace of Swords in reverse. Tell me about the Ace of Swords in reverse. Why is the Ace of Swords in reverse here on Saturday night? Yeah. You're having a hard time trusting your intuition. <coughs> the moon in reverse. That's like, um, you're from, <coughs> fuck my cough started again. Um, you're ignoring your emotions, like I said, okay? And along with that, you're probably trying to figure out what the truth is, okay? You just don't know where something is heading. But um, something's causing a lot of stress, anxiety, okay? But you do feel very isolated and lonely. There's a lot of confusion here on your mind. That's why you're just not sure about communicating. But you're not thinking logically, like I said. You're ignoring your emotions. You're suppressing it. Suppressing the feelings that you have for this person. <coughs> what about the star? Tell me about the star here. Two of Wands in reverse here. Yeah, this person has a lot of faith and hope that things will work out at the right time. But again, they're holding back a decision. Okay, this is someone who's not making a decision. Okay, very indecisive. They're at a crossroads. They're putting you at a crossroads. <coughs> but they're just not being able to make up their mind. Okay, this is like this one foot in, one foot out. Okay. This person seems like they're more focused on their goals rather than the present situation. Yeah. But they are like letting it go to the universe, you know, something like that. Why is the Six of Pentacles in reverse? Five of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah. See, you look at this person as someone who's non committal and now you've reached a point where now you lo no longer want to commit to the situation. You could be someone who literally committed to this person. Okay. Probably this, you were more committed to this person and this person wasn't committed. Okay. Or you were emotionally more involved than this person out here. Okay. <coughs> but yeah. Because there is no equal give and take here, there's no reciprocity, you're just losing faith, okay? You just feel like something's like a no-go kind of energy, okay? It's like something's just not happening. 
you're you guys are probably not on the same page like i'm saying like literally not you don't share the same belief systems that's why there's this uh imbalance out here but i feel like you are someone who literally was very very uh you were very into this person okay you have chosen this person to be with forever but now your uh belief systems your thought processes are a little shaken because of this person's behavior <coughs> This person with the star here also wants reconciliation, but they're not being able to make up their mind. It's like that hoping, wishing, praying, right? But when it comes to that hardcore action, they're not doing it. They're not making that decision, indecisiveness. Tell me about the Eight of Cups in reverse here. At the same time, they can't even walk away. Why is the Eight of Cups in reverse here? Why is the Eight of Cups in reverse? <laughs> See? They want a brand new beginning with you. They want to take action towards you with the sun here. This person sees you as their happiness, okay? Their, <clears throat> their focus, their goal is happiness and your their happiness is you. I feel this person really, really loves you, okay? They see you as their wish fulfillment, their happiness, whatever. But when it comes to giving that label to this connection, that's when they're backing off. That's what I'm getting here. I mean, they can't even walk away. They're so emotionally invested into this connection here. <clears throat> They're staying positive, you know. Why is the lovers in reverse here? Why is the lovers in reverse? Yeah, you feel like you want to move away. You want to distance yourself from this person because you either you feel like uh, this is the end of it, okay? Like I said, <clears throat> you're not getting what you want from this person, okay? You just feel this is just not your person. You're not feeling as connected to this person as you once were. And with the chariot here, I feel you feel the need to move away from this person, okay? And you're quite determined to do that. Like this is like you determine on an energetic level, okay? You want forward movement here, but because this is just not working out, okay? You just feel the need to, like I said, move away, distance yourself from this person. Why is the world here? Why is the word here? Yeah. <clears throat> they feel things have ended between you guys with the world here. Okay, something's coming to a closure. There's been closure or there's just something that's come to a full circle. And with the nine of swords in reverse here, this person's panicking. Okay. I mean, they feel like their um, their thoughts have manifested into reality. They literally kept feeling that something's going to be over, something's going to be over. Okay. And now because of their negative thinking, right, something's come to a reality. <clears throat> what's the king of cups why is the king of cups here as the reason for the reading or the root of the issue why is the king of cups here so king of cups is the root of the issue i mean it's in the upright here as a blockage which means that there is a lot of love here but it's just not being expressed here because there is a lot of confusion with the seven of cups here and the two of pentacles here at the bottom of the deck this is someone going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, okay, with the decision here of what to do with this, okay? Like I said, there's not, someone's just not sure about what the right decision is. There is love here, like I said, okay, but there's a, someone's having a hard time opening up, okay, emotionally. <clears throat> someone's being emotionally manipulative is also what I'm hearing, okay? Like just not being, like lacking that empathy, like I said, you know? Someone who just is trying to play mind games, being very cold and detached, okay? Because there's a lot of confusion here. Someone doesn't know what is the right way or right approach to make towards you or you towards them. Why is the king of swords in reverse here as neutral energy? Two cards. Give me one card. Why is the king of swords? Ten of swords here. You both know that something ended here for sure, right? There has been a painful ending out here. But you both want a brand new beginning here. That's the mutual energy over the Ace of Pentacles. But with the King of Swords in reverse, so you're both being very cold, detached, I say. You both are showing each other that you don't give a shit about each other, but actually you do. That up that approach, okay, with the King of Swords in reverse here. This is like that defense mechanism, right? That it's that approach that, oh, I, it's okay, I'm okay without you, you know, I don't care, I don't need to talk to you, you know, like I got my own shit to do, something like that. But that's just someone who's just lying. Okay, that's just lying. No one is wanting to speak the truth. Okay, no one's wanting to communicate and speak the truth that they want this uh, stability, security, this brand new beginning together. Why the king of pentacles? <clears throat> Why is this here? Ah, beautiful. 
king of pentacles with the two of cups here so yeah someone's bringing in a lot of stability a lot of security probably even commitment okay to this relationship here with the two of cups here so <clears throat> looks like there will be communication between you guys okay and there is someone here who's wanting to bring in that stability but i think there's going to be some time before that happens here because um i don't see someone rushing in wanting to talk but the likely outcome is going to be that if things are going to be the way it is right which means that if you know what i'm getting here if you distance yourself away right which is detaching okay the chariot is moving forward right because you know things are not happening you're no more no longer focused on the outcome you're no longer focused on you know because you definitely feel something's not working out so you i feel like you are definitely uh wanting to move uh, away from this person okay you want forward movement but it's just not working out this person with the world here probably yes in their approach here with the world there is something that has come to an end but with the world here and the ace of pentacles looks like this person also wants to start a new cycle with you okay they want to start a new chapter with you and with the nine of swords in reverse here i feel that you know um they're overthinking this okay uh so much overthinking is not required here but yeah they definitely want to get out of their head okay there could be a lot of remorse regret around this situation but uh they definitely want to get out of their head okay and they want to they want to feel more positive okay cuz that cuz that's a very negative energy in the upright and the reversed but uh you both want the same thing okay but it's just like you are moving forward because you don't see any hope from this person here you know they need to be i i think this is the person who needs to make a decision and they're constantly putting you in the back burner and that's that waiting energy is just pissing you off it's getting you very frustrated but guess what with the king of pentacles and two of cups here all right there is a relationship coming in you guys going to be on the same page there is going to be a lot of balance here a lot of love here okay finally there is someone who's going to be here who's going to make a more heart over head decision and um <coughs> the separation probably is going to end here and yeah that's what i see there's going to be an ending to a separation for sure okay and with the king of pentacles yes yeah, someone's bringing in that stability security okay and this is definitely someone who knows i mean what they bring to the table okay it's like literally like dude i got all the goods okay you're the shit it's more like come get me types but yeah with this king of pentacles attached to the two of cups here i feel that not only is this going to be an emotional relationship but i think there is going to be this stability attached to it okay someone's probably ready to move forward with some kind of commitment or someone's just ready to get their shit together and get the wheel going yeah but that's amazing so yeah i don't see communication yet this week but the outcome is going to be that you guys are definitely going to get back together okay so yeah the separation is going to end very very soon That's what I have for you, Sat. That's a lovely reading. I hope this reading resonates with you. Do leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.